Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Pluralsight Author. This is a part of the free video series on top 50 most frequently asked questions on ADO.net. Let us get started. How to enable and disable connection pooling? I already explained in my previous videos what is connection pooling and what is the maximum pool size. There is one more important question that will be usually asked in the interviews. How to enable and disable connection pooling? This is quite simple question. In order to disable the connection pooling, we need to just add an additional parameter pooling equal to false within the connection string. And in order to enable the connection pooling explicitly, we need to set pooling equal to true. So the connection string with the connection pooling disabled will be like this. SQL connection, my connection equal to new SQL connection of user ID, SA, password123, initial catalog not win, data source equal to shaker the guru, pooling equal to false. And to enable, just replace pooling equal to false to pooling equal to true. Hope you are clear with this question. See you shortly with the next most frequently asked question in ADO.NET. If you are a Pluralsight subscriber, you can watch my course ADO.NET by example to understand ADO.NET in detail with various examples. Please check out the following URL https colon slash slash www.pluralsight.com slash courses slash ADO.NET by example. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. This encourages me to produce more and more free videos. Yours, Shaker.